What's up my hunting brothers and sisters? Today we're going to talk about where have I been and why am I a terrible YouTuber? Stay tuned. Well, I'm a horrible YouTube content creator. It's been a hot minute since I've done a YouTube video. Let me explain. I don't know how much you follow some of the larger content creators on YouTube beyond the hunting space, which is the bulk of where my channel sets. But um, there are a lot of creators that decided to hang it up in uh, early 2024. And I was like, this is just silly. And then uh, all of a sudden I hit a point of burnout. Um, I started this channel back in like 2009 or 10, somewhere in that ballpark. Really have been hitting it hard for the last five or six years. And I reached a point of complete and total burnout. There's this pressure to create content, do hunt videos, gear review videos, tutorial videos. And in all honesty, there's only so much that you can do, um, you know, unless you've got a big team of people and you've got just uh, access to oodles of gear and, and everything, which I don't. I'm just a one-man show, and I don't have access to oodles of gear. It kind of ebbs and flows, you know, over, over the period of a year. So here we are. It's early July. Uh, the fourth holiday was last week. Um, and really, YouTube creation and content falls off uh, for most of us in the hunting space over the summers, and, and my space is no different. And so, yeah, being burnt out uh, at this time of the year, you know, it's actually it's kind of a nice little break. Uh, but still, if you're not creating content, um, there's not anything out there for the viewers to consume, and you know, and then your analytics and your metrics fall off. And, uh, you know, I mean, in the YouTube world that we're in, as creators, influencers, whatever lame term you want to use for all of us, you know, you don't want those metrics really to fall off too bad. And, and mine, like everybody's, dip a little bit this time of year. So I hope the wind noise isn't too bad because it is really coming down out here. So, yeah, so it dawned on me the other day that I hadn't made a video really about much of anything since, I'm going to say, like early April, mid-April, something like that. And I thought, well, let's sit down and, and let's talk about what's been going on and where my headspace is at, um, why I got burnt out. Um, I actually went through some depression, actually, for a few months. Um, so, you know, uh, 2022 and 23 were the highest of highs for me uh, in my quote-unquote career so far in the hunting industry. Um, it just felt like all... The pieces were falling in place. I won a film festival contest. Earned that buck, and that was Derek Craig with New Day Outdoors. Placed very well in another one. Um, sponsors are rolling in. Um, to be quite frank, money is rolling in too. Um, you know, and uh, things were going great. And uh, then, you know, business businesses change. Things change. Um, I had a boot sponsorship that uh, they went out of business. It was dry coat footwear. They actually went out of business. So that uh, was a nice paid gig and they made a really nice product. Um, and so, you know, that fell by the wayside, really no big deal. And then when 2024 started, um, about early February, um, Athens archery went under. Um, and those of you who follow along know that I've had about it. I had about a year and a half run with Athens. Um, it was an awesome deal. I was, uh, you know, creating a lot of content for them. I was filming for them. Went and filmed a, a mule deer hunt uh, last year, you know, um, getting product. And it was a great sponsorship deal. Um, 
and I was in magazines and I was on uh, their their booth at the ATA show like larger than life picture and all this crazy stuff and it was like man everything's just coming together and uh, through a multitude of reasons that I really am going to keep my personal opinions uh, to myself on on um, Athens Archery closed their doors. Um, you know, there was uh, some legal battles going back and forth between them and another brand. And at the end of the day, uh, the owners, Jim and Tracy, decided to close the doors. So for me, it was actually a point of real depression because I really felt like, I mean, that's, I don't know, I'm not going to say it's everybody's dream, but I, come on, a lot of us have dreamed about, you know, uh, being the poster child for a Matthews or a Hoyt or, you know, one of these big brands. And while Athens wasn't a Hoyt or a Matthews in terms of brand size and awareness, you know, to be one of the couple faces of the brand was, you know, pretty awesome. So I actually got pretty depressed through the winter months, um, you know, so it wasn't a lot going on there. Uh, and then you, uh, turkey seasons were kind of a, a bomb for me. Um, it's first year in like 30 years of turkey hunting. I didn't kill turkey. Uh, and I didn't, and I hunted three states. Uh, states that have a lot of birds, Texas, Ohio, and uh, Indiana. And I couldn't get it done. I have no excuses outside the fact I couldn't do it, get it done. So in about uh, end of April, um, I put my camera down. And uh, not gonna lie, this is the first I've picked it up since the end of April today. Um, I needed a break. I needed to walk away from it all for a while. Um, I needed to push the reset button mentally. Um, we had a really busy uh, late April, May, and June. Um, those of you who followed along, you know I've got two daughters. My youngest, uh, Sydney, she graduated uh, college from Purdue in uh, May and immediately was going to go off to uh, Iowa State University to start her master's program. So. I had about a 6-8 window there that was crazy, it was hectic, you know, wrapping her college career up, getting her moved, going to graduations, back and forth, uh, you know, trips back and forth. Um, we decided to take one big, huge last family vacation with my oldest daughter and her husband, uh, Sydney, and then her boyfriend, and we all went to Exuma in the Bahamas for a week. So, you know, it was kind of this last hurrah as a family, so we did that which was a nice relaxing mental reset for me, but I still, I came back and just had zero desire to do anything. And then, uh, oh, and and right before that, literally days before we're getting on a plane, we had this biggest massive hail storm you can imagine, two and a half inch diameter hail, which is very rare for us here in Indiana. And it destroyed our house. So, I mean, literally destroyed the, the roof, uh, the siding, uh, windows, doors, uh, garage or barn roof, I mean, you name it, it just did crazy amount of damage. So we had that looming over us as well. And we get back from the Bahamas and air conditioning and the house goes out. So we got a whole new air conditioning system and I've got you know, all this damage from hail. We just come, came off of this expensive uh, you know, vacation that everybody went on. And then I've also got to load all of Sydney stuff up and we got to move her to Iowa. And it just was crazy. Like everything in life was so overwhelming for me. Um, and I know we all have these battles, we all do. I mean, oh, woe is me, you know, I mean, these problems are nothing compared to what a lot of people go through, but we all get it. And, and so, man, I just have just been down in the dumps and uh, trying to sort things out, you know, and figure out where, you know, where things go from here. <clears throat> but we did get Sydney moved. And she's happy out there. In fact, she came, she and Reese, her boyfriend, came home uh, for the 4th of July weekend. We do have the house going. Uh, right now, as of today, about half of the roof has been changed out. They got uh, the other half to go, and then they'll do all the siding. So that probably is not going to end up being finished till about the end of, of August or so. Um, but things are, are definitely looking up. we got the new air conditioner, all the stuff. So life in the uh, first world living is, is getting better. But... Again, I know everybody's got problems, and, and my problems are nothing compared to what a lot of people have, but just venting, and you know, it's just where your headspace goes. So, so yeah, beyond that, you know, we've just been hanging out with friends, and, and uh, you know, I still document my weekends and my SNS, which stands for Saturday, Sunday, SNS in 60, 60 seconds. Uh, those who've been following for years have hit the five year mark on those. So, been doing that. I know it's silly, and I, and I get some comments every once in a while, like, this is a hunting, outdoorsy, for the most part, channel. Why do you do these silly life videos 
on Saturdays and Sundays that don't center around hunting. And um, a couple reasons. One is because it's my channel and I want to document my life. I don't want it to just be a hunting channel. Um, I've explained it before, it's just a hunting channel. You'd see six or eight uh, hunt videos a year and maybe some gear stuff and that's it. So yeah, I want it to be about my life and my wife's life and, and my family's life and what we do. Um, you know, and, and hopefully it makes me a little more relatable, I hope. So there's that. Um, it also drives, it drives eyeballs, it's content, it's time with a camera in your hand. Now I said I hadn't picked up a camera. I do all those on action cameras basically. So, but this is my first I picked up my, my real cameras. So in since April. So yeah, as I mentioned, it's early July. So my head is starting to jump in back into the hunting space. I'm starting to think about hunting a little bit more. Um, I've got some videos I need to do for Magnus. Um, you know, obviously my long-term sponsorship with them and, and working relationship with them, actually, it's not even really a sponsorship. Uh, Mike and I have been friends since 2009, I think. So we've been together working. So we got some videos to do there. I got some other video projects that I want to work on um, that are loosely hunting related. I've been, I'm going to, I started this uh, cargo trailer camper conversion thing. Right now it's off at a buddy of mine's getting some, a few parts and pieces welded onto the frame that I want. And then I'm going to get home and I'm going to do more videos on that and some truck mod stuff and everything. It's all kind of hunting centric, camping centric, overlanding centric wife or life centric who knows anyways you kind of get the point um cool thing coming up is we've got in a couple weekends uh the mobile hunter expo i've been going the last uh couple years i become friends with all the guys i'm going up to the kalamazoo michigan show here in a couple weekends and then i'm going to road trip out to the pa one in early august so i'm really looking forward to those if uh, you're in those areas you need to and you think about mobile hunting you need to go to those i mean it's inexpensive fun tons of vendors get your hands on stuff you can actually buy product you can test product it's a fun environment it's uh healthy relationships between the brands you know it's a great space so starting to think about that stuff um you know food plots are gonna start here start up probably in about another four weeks or so um probably in about two to three weeks i'll do some spring and then we'll actually get some seed in the ground in four or five weeks or so um so you got that and i have yet to put a trail camera out this year so there's that too so anyways uh, but I'll start getting trail camera out, cameras out. I don't really get too excited about the summer velvet pictures. Uh, but it is fun to catalog a few. So anyway, there's that. So quick rundown of the brands that I'm working with currently in 2024. So it's full transparency. Uh, obviously is uh, Magnus Broadheads. Um, you know, again, been with them forever and a day. Um, Huntworth clothing. Um, actually wearing a Huntworth t-shirt right now. I started a rela relationship, business relationship with them uh, last September and uh, we got some exciting things that I've been working with them on. Uh, some new products, some new camos, some new cool stuff. I can't say any more than that, but there's some, gonna be some cool stuff dropping here in the near future. Um, Hotshot Archery uh, releases and peep sites. Absolutely best uh, releases and peep sites in my opinion. I've been with them for I don't know, six, seven years, something like that. Uh, now, um, and uh, Spy Point camera. So I've been working with Spy Point this year, um, and uh, it's been a pretty good relationship so far. We'll see where it goes. Um, yeah, so right now, those are the four big ones. I still have relationships with Dave Smith Decoys, um, but uh, Dave and Brad and them sold it company to Meat Eater. So now my relationship with them is just basically with Dave and Brad and Greg. And, uh, you know, those guys, just because uh, they're friends and, and obviously I love the brand and it's, it's great stuff. Um, and then there's some other loose relationships that I have out there through friendships and everything. But those are the, the four main ones right now. So that's uh, where I'm at right now, moving ahead into 2024. Man, it has rained a lot in the last 24 hours. So I wanted to give everybody a rundown, you know, obviously where I've been, uh, what I've been doing, which, uh, you know, again, hasn't been much on YouTube and uh, where my headspace has been, man. Um, you know, we all go through these ups and downs and, and uh, you know, you get depressed about certain things. Woe is me. Are they a big deal? Mm, probably not most of the time uh, compared to the other world problems that are out there in 2024. Holy cow. But anyways, um, yeah, so, you know, that's where things are. I'm looking forward to hunting season. I appreciate everybody who uh, subscribes, um, you know, comments, hits the like button on the videos and everything. 
Uh, I appreciate you putting up with me not doing any uh, real cool content lately. Man, winds are picking up. I hope that's not too bad on the mic. But all right, so weather's getting worse. I'm going to have to wrap this up, obviously. So anyways, thank you so much, everybody, for the views and the support. Um, you know, uh, God bless. Uh, deer seasons will be around the corner. Get out there. Get your bows tuned in. Get your saddle and mobile hunting equipment tuned in. Get your trail cameras out. Have fun. Enjoy time with your families. God bless and we'll see you this fall. It's a new day in the outdoors.